This tutorial is just a quick introduction and explains the most important steps of how everything works. From the first recordings, cuts and effects, to mixing and CD mastering. Samplitude Producer is perfectly designed to record song ideas or live recordings, but also to create professional productions. The MR64 Multitrack Recorder is the ideal tool for making direct, easy recordings, and also great for those who have always worked with hardware recorders, as well as those who have worked with music production software for a long time already. Switch the desired track to hot for the recording, then click the record button to start. Click it again to stop. Press the record button of the next track and record another one. Do the same for each additional recording track you need. By the way, before recording, you can also make useful adjustments to the MR64 settings. For example, if you want stereo or mono recordings. If you want to set the equalizer. Or if you want to embed instruments or external effects. Right-clicking an option offers detailed settings. For advanced editing or for a more detailed recording, you can always switch from the multi-track recorder to Samplitude Producer's Classical Arranger view or start directly in this mode. After switching, you can also see the recorded material as a wave in the track. You can record in a track here too by pressing a track's record button to get the recording started. You can start or stop playback with the spacebar. Using the mouse, set the play cursor into the timeline or mark an area there. With the object handles, the guitar track is softly faded in and out. The volume can be quickly corrected using the middle handles. Double-clicking on an object opens the object editor to display numerous possible effects. The Sound FX button will bring you to the Samplitude Producer effects rack. Compress the bass track a bit more. Or optimize the sound with a 10-band graphic equalizer. You can find a list of typical functions in the Tasks menu. Simply select the task and you'll get the corresponding solution. Samplitude Producer provides numerous virtual instruments which can be accessed via the Synth button. You can also create your own beats and load your own drum samples into Robota. Controller movements can also be automated. It's probably best just to experiment with the controllers. It will probably take a while until you can fully use all possibilities of Robota. But you should keep trying, it's worth it.
try out the other options of Samplitude producer as well, like the virtual drummer Livid or Magic's Elastic Audio Easy. I must confess, I'm begging you, don't wanna be lonely tonight. I'm so confused when you're out of sight. You're my baby, I'm your child. You can influence the pitch of an object with Magic's Elastic Audio Easy for each sample. You can open and close the mixing desk with the mixer button of the M key on your computer's keyboard. The mixer provides lots of setup options for each track and for the entire sound. The volume and the equalizer can be set up directly from here. Real-time effects can be selected via the Inserts button. All settings of a channel can be applied to other channels when the mouse button is held. You can burn audio CDs directly with Samplitude Producer. Before burning, the CD track markers have to be set to the beginning of the track. Before burning your CD, Magic's Mastering Suite lets you master your sound perfectly. This professional mastering unit includes all effects for making your music sound even more powerful. An intuitively controllable parametric 4-band equalizer. An effect for enhancing the stereo field. And a multiband compressor for powerful sound and optimized total volume. After that, you can begin the burning process with a single click. The audio CD can be mastered and is fit for the CD manufacturers. The project can, of course, be saved as a WAV file or as one of the internet formats WMA or Real Audio without intermediate steps. The MIDI editor is opened by double-clicking on the MIDI object. In the upper area you will find the matrix editor with the piano roll. Each note appears as a bar within the matrix. The longer the bar, the longer the note sounds. The pitch is displayed using the keyboard on the left hand side. Each note's pitch can be changed by holding down the mouse button. Changing the length is just as easy. For example, you can modify the velocity of the notes in the lower section of the MIDI editor. Furthermore, you have the opportunity of editing the MIDI notes in classical notation, which can then be printed as well. There is a special view for drum sounds, the drum editor. Instead of a piano roll, you now see a list with various drum sounds. If you would like access to all technical details, you should work in the MIDI event list. This view provides comprehensive access to all parameters and is designed for advanced users. That's our quick introduction for now.